Hello and welcome. This is a brief presentation around the intranasal use of vaccines in cattle. My name is Charles Chavas. I'm a vet working with the ruminant team at Zoetis here in Ireland. So why would you use intranasal vaccination? Well, one of the key advantages is the fact that there's a rapid onset of immunity. So for instance, with RSV vaccines, you can get protection as quickly as five days after vaccination and 10 days against PI3, and about a week with IBR vaccinations. The other thing is in young calves who hopefully have been fed colostrum, they'll have high levels of what we call maternally derived antibodies. Whereas these give protection for some diseases, they can also interfere with the vaccination process if vaccines are injected into the calves at a younger age. So if we take something like IBR vaccines, if they're injected into calves, the calf has to be over 12 weeks of age. Whereas if it's used intranasally, it can be used from two weeks of age. So there's a big advantage there because we can get the protection in at a much younger age. And with Rispovolaris PI3 intranasal, we can actually start vaccinating the calves from nine days of age. So our advantages are the fact that we have this rapid onset of immunity after the animal has been vaccinated, and they can be used in young animals who've got high levels of maternally derived antibodies. To mix the vaccine, once you've acquired the vaccine, it should be stored in the fridge until ready to be used. Before you can use it, you need to, to mix it up. And we need to take the liquid component here and mix it with the powder component. And here we can see drawing up the liquid and then mixing it with the powder. Give it a good shake up. And once it is then mixed, you draw up two mils and it's a two mil dose up, the no up, one, up a single nostril. However, once it has been mixed, it needs to be used within two hours. It cannot be returned to the fridge. So if you were to vaccinate five animals, you mix up the five, the, the five doses, but make sure the five animals are handy to be vaccinated within the next two hours. Here we can see it being used with a gun and an applicator. The applicator is about two inches long and it's an important part because what it does is it actually creates a mist with the vaccine and the mist actually stretches about 12 to 18 inches away from the end of the applicator. This mist will go into the back of the animal's throat and some of it will go into the lungs and that way it can stimulate immunity deep inside the animal. All you need to do though is introduce the applicator about half an inch. There's no reason to put the, the whole two inches of the applicator into the calf's nose. And in fact, in doing it, you might actually damage the lining of the nose. So it's better just to introduce it about half an inch and then deploy the vaccine. The vaccine can be used in weanlings as well. It's not just for calves. We'd recommend that if you are using it in, in weanlings, and one of the times you might do this is in bought in animals where you want them to acquire immunity quickly but don't vaccinate them as soon as they come back from the mart or they arrive on the farm. We'd advise that you wait 24 to 48 hours so the animal has settled and its immune system is in a better place to respond to the vaccine. Work from the back of the crush and animals who've got their heads up, you can then just catch hold of the animal's um, head as you can see here, introduce the applicator and deploy the vaccine. And you can see here, it just goes in half an inch up the animal's nostril. And as I said, the mist will then go back into the animal, back of the animal's throat and start stimulating immunity. There will, of course, be the odd awkward one. And those can be caught in the crush gate at the front or the scoop. But there's no need to catch every single animal. So the best thing to do is work from the back of the crush, vaccinate as many as you possibly can with their heads up. It's less stress for both the man and for the beast. And then when they, if there's any that you didn't manage to catch that way, bring them to the front, catch them with the uh, crush gate, possibly use the scoop and vaccinate them that way. Thank you for listening. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact one of your Zoetis representatives. Thank you.